another fast food toy reviews video review today we have Mega Mind set of eight awesome looking movie toys released by McDonald's back in 2010 so this is a European release set that I had brought in years ago so let's get them opened up and have a closer look okay so we're gonna start out with this thingy right here and as you can see from the packaging there is no specific name for any of these toys so we're just gonna wing it I did use the interwebs to try to find out what the names of some of these toys are and I really got some mixed results so we're just gonna kind of wing it if you know the names of these toys leave a comment down below and help me out I'd really appreciate it so this first toy is like a megaphone type voice I don't voice synthesizer toy. It's kind of cool looking and it doesn't do anything. It's all, everything's just all kind of fixed into place. And it does have some instructions right here. So you can see right there, it shows where you're talking into the toy. And it also came with another sheet of stickers, which I think is kind of cool. So there's Mega Mine right there. So you have some little stickers that you can decorate stuff with, which is really neat. And so I guess how this works is you talk into this part right here, and then the sound comes out this end on this here. Let's all right. So what's this gonna mess with? Are you ready? I'm gonna talk into it. Hello. Hello, good dude. <laughs> silly you know when I mess with these toys I just I don't know my inner child comes out <laughs> I guess so anyway we'll just we'll just call this one like a we'll call it a microphone now this one is kind of cool it has an electronic gimmick right here and there's a couple little holes there for the speakers and you can even change the battery I'll give you an actual battery compartment so it makes it easy for you if you want to replace the batteries on this and then here are the instructions for this particular toy so it just shows you how it functions so you kind of just shake it and make it kind of like move it around it's got the wiggly little legs there and it came with a sheet of stickers. Gotta love the little stickers. And you can see Megamind, some of the other characters and robots and such. So I believe, I could be wrong, but I believe this one's like a bulldog barking robot toy. So you flip it on right here. And listen. So it's like growling and barking. And the little legs here, they kind of just, as you move it along, they just wiggle and it activates the, the sound gimmick in there. <laughs> it's kind of silly, but it's a little dog growling and barking at you, but it's like a robot dog, I guess. So we'll just call this one the robot dog so i did a little research and i think this one's called hm10 but i could be wrong because when i do my research on these toys there's different places that have different names for the exact same toy so i'm i'm kind of like unsure so be sure to help me out down below leave a comment and help me out with the names of these toys so this one comes with some instructions and it shows you exactly what to do with this. There's a little pencil and everything in there. And here's a little sticker sheet and you got Metro Man and a few of the other characters from the Mega Mind movie. And so how this works is there's a little button right here in the front. You give this a push. You ready? Watch this. Look at that. And so inside we have some loose pieces of paper and you can see got some different characters on there. Hopefully that's coming through okay. And you can make that out. So we have what do we have three three little sheets of paper and you come here look at this this is kind of neat so you open this up right here extend this and then you pull out this little colored pencil which you will struggle to get this out and I think we got it look at this so now you have a little red colored pencil so I don't know if every one of these particular toys comes with red they could be various colors I'm not sure but mine came with red so that's cool with me and then you can use it to create some artwork I suppose and then when you're done you just take and put everything back so you slide this pencil back in this part right here make sure we get it in there and then you can close that back up and then push the little button again the spring loaded and you can just take your little pieces of paper and put them back in here for storage just like this 
There we go. A little bit messy, but that's okay. And there you go. So we will call this one, I'm not sure, HM10. I've seen a few different names for it. We'll just call it the, I don't know, the Notepad Robot. <laughs> this next one, we're just going to simply call it the Nightlight Robot. <laughs> I don't know what else to call these. I'm having a hard time just figuring out the specific names of these. So that's okay with me. We'll have fun anyway. So here are the instructions and it shows it's like a pencil topper toy and you put it on your pencil and it has a light up gimmick. And of course, here are some stickers with the different characters from the movies on there. Very cool. And here is the pencil that it came with. So I suppose you can use the red one from the other toy if you want, or basically any pencil really. And then what you do is you take it and you place it into the bottom of this toy like this. And now you have yourself a little, and it's really awkward and heavy. I don't know how you could really write with this that well because it's kind of wonky, but it's still cool to look at. So basically what you do is you flip it over and then there's a little on off switch right here. You flip this on, can we get it? There we go. And you can see the little red light comes on. See it? There we go. And it lights up and you can write in the dark or do your artistic artwork or whatever. Or if you're having a late night, you can do some late night homework under the covers. <laughs> and then basically it just lights up this area like this. So let's turn out the lights and take a look at that. So as you can see, it's not a very powerful bright light, but you can kind of see it glowing on my hands. Of course, I didn't make it completely pitch dark in my area here but it's dark enough so you can kind of make out that little light right there and it's more like a, just a little beam of light that kind of just shines on the writing area if you so if you wanted to write in the dark i guess you could i guess you could do that with this well there you go we'll call this one the robot light up pencil topper toy so this one is kind of curious so it has a little gimmick here on the back it's a light up feature and it has like a shaking gimmick and here are the instructions, just to give you an idea. So it shows the on-off switch, and then the little trigger underneath for the little button to push it on. So you have the little hologram that comes out, and then it shows to shake it up and down. And if you take this and tap it, you can hear it vibrating in there, and it actually vibrates in your hand a little bit. You can feel it vibrating. It's kind of cool. So you do this, and then you flip the switch on right here, and then there's a little trigger button, and you push this. Look at this right in here. See how it's shaking? Look at this. So when you tap this, the little hologram, the little light comes out and shimmers all over the place. So let's turn the lights out and check that out. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna push this little button and then we're gonna do what it shows in the instructions. We're just gonna shake it up and down and see what happens. So we're gonna do this and then hold it. And hopefully you can see it in the camera on my hand. So basically what it's doing, it's shaking and shimmying the little light in there. So as you shake this up and down, the little red light kind of vibrates and bounces around on, on wherever you're pointing this. That's all it's doing. So it's just jumping around a little bit. So it's, it's like on a spring or something there. Kind of neat. And of course, we have some stickers with a few of the characters from the movie. So stickers are always a win, right? <laughs> so what do we call this one? So I guess we'll call this one the Vibrating Bouncing Hologram Toy. This one's kind of interesting because it has like a decoder type gimmick. So what you do is you open it up right here and inside you have a couple of little lenses. So you fold these out and flip these out like so and you kind of separate them. And this one has like a really cool little lens there. You can see it's kind of like a kaleidoscope, if you will. It's kind of neat. And then you have the red one here, clear plastic, which is like a decoder of sorts. And it comes with this stuff right here. So you can see the little stickers and we'll dump these out right here. And so there are the little stickers that it comes with. There's Metro Man, Mega Mind, pretty neat stuff. And you have three little discs and you flip them around like so. And then you can see on the back of each one is like a little hidden thing that you need to put under the little red lens. So let's take a look and see what we get. So if we hold it under there, what is that? Some kind of like rocket laser robot thing? I don't know. It's hard, it's hard to tell. And then let's see. We got this one here. What is this? It looks like I'm not even sure. What is that thing? 
I have no idea. <laughs> Leave a comment. If you know what this is, let me know. I, I have no idea. It's kind of fun, though. And then what is this one? I have, <laughs> I have no idea. Look at this thing. Any idea? Any clues? Let me know. I don't know. So if you flip them over and put it underneath this lens, and you kind of like, I guess, I don't know, rotate it or something? I don't know. I don't know. This one's kind of weird. It's silly. But I don't know if my camera's picking it up, but his face is all like distorted and weird looking. <laughs> Let's see if we, we do it like this. I wonder if that, what happens if we do it like this? And... <laughs> I don't know. This one's, this one's kind of weird. I don't know what to make of this one. <laughs> there are some instructions. Let me show you that real quick. So I was looking at these, and it shows you to do exactly what we did here. You flip out the discs and everything, and put the discs under there. And you can like use the red one for a decoder. The other one's like the kaleidoscope gimmick. And yeah, <laughs> I'm not really sure. I guess <laughs> I think I did it right. Anyway. There you go, we'll just call this one the Decoder Robot. This one might be the coolest one of the set so far, I think. It's pretty much self-explanatory. So what you do is you flip this open here, you open this here, it's like a giant mouth. And then there's a little button right here, you have your handle, you hold this, you push the button, and it's like a little fan. And you can actually feel the air coming off of that, it's kind of neat. And the faster you push it, the faster it goes and the more air that is pushed out of there. And let's see, we'll do it from the front. Ready? Here we go. And look at this. <laughs> that's it. It's, that's the gimmick. And then when you're done, you just kind of close this back up. And now you have like a, I don't know, I guess you can put it in your pocket and take it with you. And you're getting a little hot. You can just open this up and hold this in your face. And put a little breeze on your nose. <laughs> I don't know. Here, here's the sticker sheet it comes with. So that's kind of cool. These stickers are always fun. And then, of course, the little instructions. Uh, pretty much self-explanatory. So there you go. We'll call it the, oh, I don't know, robotic handheld fan. Now, <laughs> this one, this one's goofy and silly and very basic, but it's still fun, even though it's gimmicky and novelty. These look kind of cool. I can appreciate what these look like. And... I'm, I like the spike stuff, the red plastic, it's kind of cool. And so the gimmick with this is, it's so silly, look at it, watch. So you have this little handle, you have a little trigger here, and you just pull it, watch. That's what it does. <laughs> and here's the stickers. So in case you want to decorate some of your toys, you, I guess you could use them on the toys themselves or whatever. But there you go, there's some stickers. And of course, look at, here's the instructions. So. Not really, not very too complicated, <laughs> and that's what it does. It's like a little chopper robot. I think that's a good name for it. We'll call it the Robot Chomper. <laughs> I love this. There's nothing, there's nothing special about it. It's just got like the little, <laughs> I don't know why I'm laughing. It's so silly. So there you go. It's the Robot Chomper. And there you have it, everyone. Mega Buys today. Eight awesome little movie toys released by McDonald's back in 2010. I'm not really sure what to make of this set. There's a lot going on. There's all kinds of little gimmicks with each one. You have the Chomper one, the Barking Dog one. I think that one's called the Bulldog toy. I'm not really sure, but that makes sense because it barks and growls at you. But I wish they would start putting names on some of these. And I did the research, and I, I can only find a couple of names, and I really wasn't sure if that was exactly what the toy was called. So I think we had fun with it. I think it's a cool little fun, play, playful set, and it's worth adding to your McDonald's Happy Meal collection. Thanks for watching, everybody. Take care. See you next time.